Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Insider Financial Talks Penny Stocks. My name is Alex Carlson. I will be your host today. I'm the editor-in-chief of InsiderFinancial.com, and today we're going to be discussing KGKG, MJWL, TRIRF, OWUV, DIGAF, DPLS, DUTV, TRVI, and MULN. But before we get into that, we have a few housekeeping issues to go over. We have no business relationship with any company whose stock is mentioned in this video. Insider Financial and myself are not investment advisors, and this video does not provide investment advice. Always do your own research, make your own investment decisions, or consult with your nearest financial advisor. This video is not a solicitation or recommendation to buy, sell, or hold securities. This video is our opinion, is meant for informational and educational purposes only, and and does not provide investment advice. For more information, please read our full disclaimer at insiderfinancial.com backslash disclaimer. With that out of the way, remember to smash the thumbs up button if you like this video. Also hit the red subscribe button and little notification bell to be notified when we go live with a new video. Also go over to signup.insiderfinancial.com. This is where subscribers get first look at stocks we're going to be covering. These are day and swing trade short term momentum penny stock alerts trading and investing ideas to help you maximize your gains. After you sign up with your email, you can then sign up with your mobile number. It works for all numbers worldwide. Simply enter your country code first, followed by your number. For US and Canada, be one plus area coded number. Never begin the format with zero, it will not work. And text messages are the fastest way to get our alerts, especially as we release all of our profiles right at the opening bell. You can also click the red download ebook to get the free Insider Financial Guide to Penny Stocks ebook. Our ebook, our email service, and our text messaging service are all free services from insiderfinancial.com. We do not run any paid subscription service whatsoever. With that out of the way, let's dive in here, folks. Uh, Overall, uh, you know, we had a big week, uh, to, you know, to start the week was uh, the oil penny stocks on the NASDAQ. They were simply on fire uh, with oil uh, running over 125. We got a correction today. A lot of those names had pulled back. But there are still some bright spots uh, uh, taking place on the markets. Uh, KG, KG, I talked about this one the other day in my video. Uh, there's a lot to like with this one. Uh, they're on track to do $1 million in revenues this quarter, which is impressive that they just have a $6.8 million market cap. Uh, they are now in uh, selling in Walmart. Uh, the company announced uh, its popular Oola Lemon Lemonades will be sold in Walmart brick and mortar stores. Uh, this is just uh, the four flavors of Oola Lemon will be in Walmart's system nationwide, which will give the company firepower to secure distribution states where it's lacking. So definitely big news there, and uh, they're making all the right moves. And this is still a double zero, uh, and we think this one still has more room to run. It's been on a downtrend, but the company has been executing, putting out good PRs, and uh, we're going to run into the next resistance at 0 0.0137. We get above uh, 0 0.014, and uh, we're off and running. So definitely keep your eye on KGKG. Next up is MJWL, up 25%. Nice day today. Um, what we're seeing there is uh, they were just at the Wall Street Conference in West Palm Beach discussing all things crypto. Uh, their advisors, Dr. Vin Menon and real David Chong, uh, they were conversing all things uh, crypto with uh, Brock Pierce. Uh, they were on the panel discussions. So definitely uh, a, a lot going on with MJWL, uh, with crypto. Uh, you know, the, you have the Biden executive order. UAE, UAE is launching their framework for the regulation of uh, crypto and digital assets. Uh, this is just the space that you want to be in. And uh, MJWL, uh, they're executing. Uh, they're in a much better position than they were uh, last year when they ran from uh, just under, uh, you know, two cents to all the way to 26 cents. Uh, we talked about that on uh, in insiderfinancial.com. Uh, you can go into uh, the magnifying glass, uh, type in any symbol, and you can see what we've had to say uh, about any particular stock, including our videos, uh, and our full coverage is there on insiderfinancial.com. 
Uh, next up is TRIRF. Uh, this one has been running off the 50 cent level uh, over the past uh, five days. Big runner. Uh, this is an X NASDAQ. I uh, got delisted uh, down to the OTC. Uh, you saw the selling pressure from the institutions <clears throat> when they could no longer hold it. Uh, and uh, we're getting uh, smart investors came in and, and bought the dip on TRIRF. Uh, they're going to apply for um, relisting uh, to NASDAQ. If you look at their numbers, I mean, they're really making, uh, uh, doing really well. Uh, trade, the company had uh, revenues increased 228% to $55.5 million, net income of $45 million. Uh, they have a lot of things uh, on store for this year. Um, and the company said here, Triteris has remained in a strong financial position since the end of fiscal 2021 with a profitable cash flow generating business that is debt free and had nearly $170 million in cash at the end of fiscal 2021, of which $36 million was restricted for a stock buyback, which was concluded on April 21st. So definitely uh, one that we really like. Uh, and, uh, you know, this one was trading at uh, $9 and uh, 50 cents uh, last Nova, uh, October. So uh, definitely one uh, we see uh, heading back towards the highs. Um, and uh, this is one you want to be paying attention to, T-R-I-R-F. Next up is OWUV. Uh, 10 cent play uh, is bouncing off the 200 day of 0.0896. Uh, OWUV is one that uh, we caught last year for subscribers, was a big winner. You go over here, type in the symbol, and there you go. Oh, uh, sorry about that. Just type in the symbol, and there you can see uh, what we've had to say about OWUV. Um, definitely uh, one you want to be paying attention to. Outwit News, um, they are debt-free. Uh, they are buying back stock every month. Uh, and, uh, you know, these are the things that you want to see from an OTC company, uh, eliminating debt and uh, no dilution. So uh, a lot to like with OWUV. Uh, we see this one as, as another one that uh, is going to start climbing again soon. Uh, next up is DIGAF, up 23% uh, today. Uh, this one looks to have bottomed out. Uh, this one has a history of price spikes uh, with crypto. Um, again, as I said, I think crypto is going to get hot again, uh, bullish on, on crypto, the space in general, uh, whether you own crypto directly or you want to play it with uh, crypto penny stocks. Uh, just a lot of opportunities. Uh, this is a double zero, um, extremely cheap. Uh, this one was at a, at a penny uh, back in October uh, and uh, we think we can uh, get back there uh, uh, rather quickly uh, that would be a, f a five bagger from here so so pay attention to DIGAF this is a great crypto play Next up is DPLS, uh, finally bottomed out, um, making a nice run. It's, it's up 100% over the past couple of trading sessions. Um, their CEO, uh, Dennis M. O'Leary, uh, been putting out a lot of news. Uh, he tweeted this tonight. Uh, I've completed a great interview with the Daily Mail. So uh, definitely uh, be interested, uh, more, more eyes uh, paying attention to what's going on with DPLS. Uh, bullish there. Next up is DUTV. Uh, guys, this is a triple over the past uh, uh, two weeks. Uh, there's a lot to like with this one. You look at the recent press release, and here's what uh, uh, really struck out uh, for, for, for us. They, they appointed a new CEO, uh, Mark Galliswick. Um, as the new CEO of DU, DUTV, Mark intends to utilize the clean public structure of DUTV to bring various patents, new disruptive technologies, new opportunities, and one or more of the various companies he owns or is affiliated all under one umbrella with DUTV serving the role as the master public holding company. We love these types of deals. Uh, Mark is the real deal. Uh, he's the founder and CEO of Easy Automation. 
Uh, it's a 100% family-owned company successfully started and grew into the largest provider of feed fertilizer software and automation in North America with over 3,000 ag cooperatives and large farm customers. Uh, they received the Inc. 500 award as one of the 500 fastest growing companies in the nation and received one of only four U.S. Congress state legislators awards for being the top small business of the year. So definitely a lot of catalysts coming from DUTV uh, and it's just under a penny. This one is again great value and one that uh, if you're not already paying attention to you want to start paying attention to. Uh, next up is TRVI. I've been talking about this one in uh, on our videos. Again, go over here and you can type in and check out what we've had this, what I've had to say on the channel, uh, recent videos, and it just keeps climbing. I told you guys, no news. This is a chat room pump. We monitor all the chat rooms, all everything that's going on for our subscribers so you don't have to. This way you know which which stocks are, uh, are about to run uh, and the ones that you should be paying attention to. It's a free service. Make sure you go to signup.insiderfinancial.com. Lastly is MULN. Uh, this one is uh, a lot to uh, take in. Um, this is an EV play. Um, if you look at what they have going on, I've been talking about this one in my last video. Uh, they have the longest lasting battery, should be in contention for $450 million from the government. It's an EV company trading under two bucks. Uh, remember, NEO was under two bucks once as well. Uh, this one was $16 last year, tremendously oversold. And we have a full report coming out on MULN this weekend. Make sure you sign up at signup.insiderfinancial.com so that you get this free report on MULN. This will tell you everything you need to know about MULN. Speaking of reports, we have a, a Tencent OTC penny stock uh, profile coming at the opening bell. Uh, this is a bottom play, prime for a major move, uh, low flow, check, checks all of our boxes uh, that you want to be paying attention to. All the details are coming at the opening bell for subscribers that are signed up via email and SMS at signup.insiderfinancial.com. This is one play you're not going to want to miss. With that being said, I want to wish everyone a great and profitable trading day, and I'll be coming live to you tomorrow after the close of a new video. Have a great day, everyone. Make some money. Bye-bye.